kiddos, um, I am missing you guys a whole, whole bunch. Um, but since we can't be together, we're going to do some work on our floor pass. Um, last week, we worked on bridge ups and back rolls and front rolls. And I know you guys have been working hard at home with the help of your moms or dads to do exactly the way they're supposed to be done. And I'm so anxious to see how hard you worked and what a good job you've been doing, especially on those bridge ups because I know all of you can do a good bridge up. We just need to work, 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 and don't forget to practice when you're watching TV. Lay down on the floor, do your bridge up, and watch TV upside down. Um, today, we're gonna work on our floor pass. And don't forget, do not start doing gymnastics until you have done your warm up, because if you don't warm up your muscles, you could get hurt. So we really gotta warm them up and stretch them out, and then start on your gymnastics, okay? Are you guys ready? All right, let's go. Okay, Katie is gonna show you guys how to do a really good candlestick, and this is something that's fun to practice anywhere that you can practice, on your floor, on your bed. You can do it on your bed. Go ahead, Katie, show them. Arms up, you're gonna squat down, roll back, legs up, arms up. Did you see that how her arms did not leave her ears? They stayed up straight and tight the whole time. Do it again, Katie. Squat down, roll back, our legs up, and arms up, stand up. Beautiful. She did not let her hands touch the floor. Did you notice that? That's just like on a front row. Front row, stand up, popcorn, which is also called a jump half turn, and then we're gonna do a candlestick. But we like the term popcorn because that's way more fun than jump half turn. So, Katie's gonna show you how to do that. How do we start? Arms up big, good job. Hands down, hands up pretty. Popcorn, good, back uh, candlestick. Arms up, good job. I bet all of you can do that and look just as good as she did when she did it. All right, okay, now Katie's gonna show you again, and this time she's gonna make it. She's gotta be really fast on her popcorn because she's gonna be in the hot lava. So we gotta jump and turn really fast, finish your front row, jump, turn real fast, and then do your candlestick. So watch her, let's see if she can do it. Arms up, good. Hands down, front row, hands up, popcorn. Good job, awesome. You see how fast that was? That was perfect. She got out of that lava really, really quick. And I know you guys can do the same thing. We are gonna work on cartwheels. Now, most of you are doing really good cartwheels, but we have to get our legs up higher and we have to work a little bit harder on them. So Katie's gonna demonstrate first the way you guys are doing your cartwheels and then she's gonna show you how to do a good one, a really good one. Look at her lunge, good, good. Now we aren't even starting like this, and we need to, so let's, um, let's show her, we're gonna start the way we normally do. So feet together and arms up, step out with your cartwheel foot, now do your cartwheel. Awesome, now see she, know, she landed with her feet together, which is what you guys do, and that's good. We, we're proud of you for working hard and doing that, but we want you to work harder and do this kind of cartwheel. Lunge, cartwheel, land feet apart, and in a, in a lunge, just like that. When her hands go down, her feet, her foot comes up behind her. Same time, awesome. It's called a tick-tock. So you can practice that at home too. All right, kids, we're gonna practice frog stands. Now, before you start, you have to talk to mom and dad and make sure that they find a safe place for you to do this. You don't wanna do it on tile floor in the kitchen or in the garage on the, on the concrete floor. You wanna do it on carpet, um, and maybe, you know, you could even put some pillows down if you want to. Um, so that's what we're gonna to try to do today. We have soft floor in here, so we can do it on this floor. But don't do it on concrete, and don't do it on the tile floor, or even your hardwood floors. Make sure you talk to mom and dad, and make sure that they find you a safe place to do that. Okay, now, Coach Tim, is gonna show us how to do a really good frog stand. We have put our X's on the floor, and your mom and dad can do that for you with uh, masking tape or painter's tape or what you know, whatever, but you wanna make sure you're in a good uh, triangle. So his hands are gonna go on these X's, and his head's gonna go on that X, so he's in a good triangle. Awesome. Now he's gonna pick his bottom up, push it up in the air, and his legs are straight. Now he's gonna walk his feet up, Okay, now he's gonna pick up one foot and put his knee on his elbow. And now he's gonna pick up the other foot, knee on elbow and pick up his other foot. Awesome, 
That way you're in a good, strong position and you won't fall over. Do not, um, don't try to pick your feet up. That's not what we're doing right now. We're just doing frog stands. So when you come back in the gym, we'll have all these X's all over the floor and all of you can show me your good frog stands. Good job, Coach Tim. Thank you.